A tough Monday back to school for one Virginia Beach community. And classmates and teachers are sharing memories of a middle school student. 12-year-old Michael Fang died in a car crash on First Colonial Road Friday night. He was in the car with two siblings when the vehicle hit a tree, crossed several lanes of traffic, then hit another tree. Tending your sides, Ann McNamara spoke to neighbors about how their children are coping with this loss. Ann? Guys, this is devastating for the entire Great Neck community. Today, teachers wrote posts on the 12-year-old's online obituary saying they're going to miss his big smile and they're going to miss him a lot. Chainsaws and raindrops. That's all you could hear Friday night on First Colonial Road. Police say the car hit a tree in the median, crossed oncoming lanes, and then hit a second tree on the other side. Emergency crews tried to save 12-year-old Michael Fang, but it was too late. He is a very sweet boy. He would have done anything for anybody. And it's just sad to see him gone. Catherine Bowling's daughter went to school with Michael at Great Neck Middle. My daughter constantly texts them on their iPods and, you know, they're constantly best friends. friends, best friends they were. They walk home on the bus every day, from the bus stop every day together. But today, she'll have to walk alone. The school had counselors on hand to help students cope with the loss of a classmate. And teachers left kind messages on Michael's online obituary. He always had the biggest smile on his face, one wrote. I will miss him and his smile a great deal. The accident is a true family tragedy. Friends say Michael and his younger sister were passengers in the car and his older brother was driving. Please support him because he really needs his friends right now. Friends say the three kids were headed to the family restaurant in Hilltop, but they didn't get far. When the car crashed, they were only a mile from home. Flowers sit in that spot now in loving memory of a little boy who won't be forgotten. It's been hard. It's really been hard. And it's going to be hard for quite some time. Michael's younger sister was also injured in the crash but is expected to be okay. Police say the driver may not have been over the speed limit technically but was going too fast for the weather conditions at the time. I'm in McNamara, 10 on your side.